You check to Paul Murphy. Thanks, Kerlock. Um, I have to say I, I find it very hard to listen to the government's excuses about the very worst aspects of homelessness, child homelessness, again. Um, we hear them so regularly at this stage. And the entire presentation is to present this as a terrible natural disaster that we have. It's terrible. And we're all working very hard to try and sort it out and so on. And it obscures the reality that this is a very unnatural disaster. It's a disaster that is created by the government's policies and for the children who are in homelessness and for the families who are in homelessness and the effect that they will have on them for the rest of their lives, there's a flip side of the coin, which is those who benefit from the government's policies. That's the, almost the one in three landlords on the government benches and it's the developers who benefit. There are winners and losers to the government's right-wing neoliberal approach to uh, the housing uh, crisis. Um, the more than almost tripling of landlords uh, receiving rent uh, since 2009, the corporate landlords paying nothing in tax, the top 50 construction companies increasing their sales up to 8.4 billion, 25% up uh, last uh, year. The, they're the winners and the direct consequence of their winning and the policy designed for them to win is the horrendous crisis of child homelessness and homelessness uh, generally. How can they sleep at night? I think it's because um, they're utterly out of touch with the reality of ordinary people's lives and they don't care. Um, I thought it was revealed very callously and very brutally by the answer that the Taunashta gave earlier on to leaders' questions when he referred to the increase for council tenants in rent as being modest. So an increase of 13 euros a week, 13 euros a week for old aid pensioners on low and fixed incomes, Simon Coveney thought was modest. Or an increase of three euros a week for everybody else, he clearly thinks that's, that's nothing. That's the cost of a latte to Simon Coveney. But the reality is for those families, that's the cost of school lunches uh, for almost a week for their, their children. They simply don't care, they're completely out of touch. I want to put a human face on, on this with a case that I've been dealing with uh, this week, my office, a young mother who was living with her, her family, completely overcrowded. Uh, um, she was uh, sharing a room with her children. Her younger 11-year-old brother was sharing a room with her parents. The situation became worse after she became homeless, after family tensions meant she had to leave her family home. The costs of that crisis are immense, mental health uh, distress, familial uh, breakdown. That left uh, the, the mother and her children in a very precarious situation. They were not originally considered homeless by the council because they had lived at a family home. They then had to go to a homeless centre to be considered homeless, meaning staying indefinitely away from their community and their child's uh, school. That's, that's the real cost of your policies. You're responsible. You're also responsible for the winners and the profits that they're making.